The first thing we'll have to do is measure ourselves. For best results, measure over your underwear, not in your clothes, and get somebody to help you. A family member, friends, or your partner. That way it will be easier. You can do it on your own and I will show you how. However, there's no way around the underwear part. You're gonna have to take your clothes off, so you might as well start with that. Right. Grab your measuring tape and we'll get to work. We will need four measurements to make trousers. First measurement is our abdomen circumference, which we will measure here. Second measurement is the seat, which we will measure here, around the fullest part of our bum. The third measurement is the inside leg, which is the distance from where your legs meet at your crotch down to the floor. And the fourth and final measurement is um, when you sit on a table, this height here, it's called the body rise. For that, we'll sit. Let's walk through them one by one. Okay, please ignore that you're staring directly at my crotch. Let's measure. First measurement, the abdomen circumference. Make sure you get no knots. You measure around your waist, about the height of the elastic of your boxers. This will determine the waist size of your trousers. And for me, it's 97. And as you can see, I'm measuring around my waist and I'm keeping the measuring tape horizontal, like the floor. So, 97, and you write that down. Abdomen circumference, 97. Next up is the seat. The seat, we measure it almost the same, but a bit lower. And we measure around the fullest part of our bum. So, if you see here, you can see better than me actually. I have to go around the fullest part and it is about, let's say 110. When you're measuring, you should pull the, um, the tape measure straight, but not really, just that it fits snugly. You don't really have to pull either, okay? You should just sit snugly around your body. Now, for the in, in, uh, inside leg measurement, which is from your crotch down, I'm going to teach you a little trick. Let me get my ruler. There we go. The trick is, you put this ruler between your legs as high as you can, and then you pass the height on the wall, you put a little mark there, and then you measure down to the floor, because this is really difficult to measure. Okay, two things to take into account. First. Marks on the wall are not cool, so tape a piece of paper to the wall where um, at the height of your crotch, so you can put the mark on the paper. And B, you want to make sure that this is horizontal. Now how do you do that? I always put like a roll of tread there, and if the tread rolls down it's too low, if it rolls towards me it's too high. Okay, so I'm going to get some paper and some treads, I'm going to show you how to do this. This height. There we go. I'm gonna make sure I have my marker ready. And then I do as I explained, but I got this little roll of thread which I'm gonna put on here. And if it rolls down, as it does now, it's too low. And if it rolls up, it's too high. So just find a good balance there, and that's where you need to be. Put that little line on the paper, and you're all set. Once that's done, you simply measure down from your mark on the paper to the floor, and you have your measurement. For me, that's 90 centimeters for the inner leg measurement. So I'm going to write that here. There we go. The last measurement we need is the body rise. As you can see, I set myself down on my table. You can also use a chair as long as it's nice and straight and horizontal. Um, the measurement we're looking for is from the table up to where your um, underwear elastic sits. About the same height as um, 
where you took your MMM circumference measurement. So I'm just going to put my ruler up here and then it's so close to it that I don't need to check if it's horizontal. You can see that it's about 20 and a half centimeters. However, this ruler, like most rulers, doesn't start at zero, so I need to add that distance to my measurement. I measured it before, it's about one and a half, so total measurement for me, 22 centimeters. And that's our final measurement. There was part one. Um, by now you've measured yourself, you've got four measurements. You got your abdomen circumference, you get your seat, you get your body rise and your inner leg measurement. That's all we need to start working on our trousers and we'll continue in part two.